Reports of threats against schools are raising concerns among parents, students, and educators. In our legal lens, Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal asked Brown and Crouppen attorney Andrea McNary what the law says about those threats and what your obligation is if you become aware of one. I guess if we could start, Andrea, with what does the law say about uh, threats made against schools? Missouri law treats this very, very seriously. It's actually considered a terrorist threat. So if you have made a threat, even in a joking manner, that causes the evacuation, quarantine, or closure of any facility, or even part of a facility, um, you can be charged with what could be a class D felony. So it's a very, very serious threat, even if it's a prank. Real consequences. Uh, I guess if someone is aware of a threat, do they have a legal obligation to report it? The answer is it depends. So if the law recognizes a special relationship between the parties, for instance, a physician and counselor and patient, or a parent or guardian and a child, then yes, there can be legal obligations to report a known threat or a suspected threat of harm. Uh, we've seen that with a recent willingness of states to actually prosecute parents uh, when there has been school violence. But generally speaking, if there is no legal special relationship, for instance, a child sees a threat uh, made by another child on social media, generally speaking, there is no obligation to report that. And any advice if you do see one of these threats on social media or become aware of one? Yeah, so in 2011, a uh, hotline was established called the Missouri School Violence Hotline. It is a completely confidential hotline that once the information is called in, it is disseminated to the school and to law enforcement. Um, again, it's completely confidential. It's the number is 1-866-748-7047, or you can text C2R to 738477. But that is one way if you have any concerns of uh, violence or threats that you know of. Alternatively, you can also contact your lo local law enforcement to report any suspicions. As always, great information. Andrea McNair with Brandon Krupp, and thanks for your time today. You're welcome. Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News. Remember, you can catch The Legal Lens every Wednesday evening right here on Fox 2 News at 6.